Machikahan Time! Narito naman po ang inyong Machikang Teacher. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay arithmetic sequence. Ito po ay part 3 ng ating arithmetic sequence. Dito, ang focus po natin ay solving the unknown variable in arithmetic sequence. So, kung nakaraan, ay define po natin kung ano ang arithmetic sequence. Inidentify natin ano ang uh, kung ang given po ba ay arithmetic sequence or not arithmetic sequence. Doon sa pangalawang video natin, inalam po natin kung ano ang uh, paano natin kukunin yung end term ng arithmetic sequence. Ngayon naman po, we have to solve the unknown variable. Kung ano yung hinahanap, hindi lang basta end term. Okay? Pwede ang nawawala ay si common difference. Ako, pwede ang nawawala ay si A sub 1 o pwede din po yung n term natin. Simulan na natin. So, the table shows the daily savings of lean. So, day 1, nakapag-save po siya ng 30 pesos. Nung day 2, we have 40. Day 3 ay 50 pesos. Now, let us complete the table. How much money did she save on the 9th day? So, kung titingnan natin yung ating table at pwede nating lagyan, so, nung pang 4th day, nakasave siya ng 60 pesos. Nung pang 5th day, we have 70 pesos. And then, 6th day, we have 80 pesos. And then, nung 7th uh, day is 90 pesos. Pang 8th day is 100. At yung pang 9th day po niya, that is 100 then. Okay? So, ang nasave niya ay 110. So, gumagamit po tayo ng peso sign. Ayan, pwedeng peso sign or yung uh, ngayon po ang ginagamit na natin is what we call the Philippine Peso o yung PHP. So, sa pagsulat, sa paglalagay po gamit yung table, we can easily identify kung ano yung hinahanap dun sa table. Pero, pwede rin po natin gamitan nung ating uh, formula which is ang ating A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, tandaan lang po natin, kailangan natin yung given natin na A sub 1 which is 30. Ano ba yung hinahanap? Ang hinahanap natin ay yung pang 9th ninth, uh, ninth day ni Lin na na-save. Yung common difference po niya ay 10. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin ay yung A sub N or yung 9th term natin, A sub 9. Okay? So, let us have A sub 9. Tuloy na natin. Is equal to, so, uh, ang A sub 1 po natin ay 30 plus, ayan, ito yung 30 plus, ang N po natin ay 9 minus 1 times ang common difference po ay 10. Ayan. So, we will have A sub 9 equals 30 plus, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, 9 minus 1 is 8 times 10. So, 8 times 10. So, we have A sub 9 is equal to 30 plus 8 times 10 is 80. And 80 plus 30 is 110. So, tama po yung nakuha natin so, uh, sagot kanina dun sa table at ito po yung nasave niya into her ninth day na pag-iipon. Ayan. So, as you can see, pwedeng by table or pwede rin po tayong gumamit ng ating uh, formula, lalo na kung mas marami tayong hinahanap na given na end term natin or mas malaki yung end term natin na hinahanap. So, let us have using the same problem, what if Lynn saved 200 pesos? On what day did she save this amount? So, given ang arithmetic sequence natin na 30, 40, 50, pang ilan daw, which term is 200? Okay? Kung kanina, ang hinanap po natin ay yung pang 9th day, ngayon, nang hahanapin natin, kailan niya na-save yung 200 pesos? Okay. So, given po natin yung A sub 1 ulit, which is 30, and then yung common difference natin, which is 10. So, 40 minus 30 is 10, 50 minus 40 is also 10. Ang hinahanap po natin ngayon ay yung tinatawag nating N or pang ilang term yung 200 pesos natin. So, assume natin na yung A sub N is equal to 200. 
So, given the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So, again, i-assume natin na yung a sub n natin ay 200. So, that is 200 equals ang a sub 1 po natin ay 30 plus. Hindi, wala po tayong value ng n. So, n pa rin po siya minus 1 times d natin which is common difference. Okay? So, let us continue. So, we will have 200 equals 30 plus. So, hindi po natin pwedeng i-add or i-subtract yung n at 1 since they are dissimilar. So, all we have to do is to distribute 10 to n minus 1. So, n times 10 is 10 n. Negative 1 times 10 is negative 10. Okay, and then combine like terms, so 230 and 10. So, pwedeng unahin natin yung nasa kanan. So, we will have 200 equals 30 minus 10 is 20 plus 10 n. And then, pagsasamahin na po natin si 220. So, by transposition method or the properties of equality. So, we will have 200. So, Applying the properties, so from positive, it will become negative 20 equals 10n. So, 200 minus 20, that would become 180 equals 10n. And then, since ang hinahanap lang po natin ay yung n, we have to divide both sides by 10. Ayan. They divide lang po natin, so n equals, cancel na yung 10 dito, 180 divided by 10 is 18. So, therefore, pang 18th day. So, using the same problem, so which term is 200? That is 18, 18th term or 18th day niya na save yun. Okay? So, yan po. Paano natin kukunin yung value of n? So, let us proceed to our next problem. So, let us find a sub 1. If a sub 5 is 60 and a sub 6 is 66. Ngayon, kanina, mas madalas natin ibinibigay yung a sub 1. Pero dito, paano kung ang hinahanap natin ay a sub 1? Diba? So, given the formula that a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times t. Eh, ang given natin ngayon ay yung a sub 5 which is 60, at yung a sub 6, which is 66. Kung kukunin natin ang, kung ilalagay natin as, ano ha, sequence. So, kung ito ang pang 5, so 60, then 66, so ang hinahanap natin ay yung unang-una. Ayan, ito po yung a sub 1. So, yan yung hinahanap natin. So, ito yung magkasunod. So, pwedeng kunin na natin yung common difference. So, 66 minus 60, that is 6. Okay, so ang hinahanap po natin ay yung a sub 1. So, mamili tayo. So, a sub 5 ang pipiliin natin. So, kung ang a sub 5 po natin ay equal kay 60, then ang d natin ay 6, ang n po na gagamitin natin kung ano yung a sub 5, which is uh, 5. Yun, nandito sa a sub 5 natin na 60. So, yung n niya dyan ay 5. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, gamit ang formula natin. So, papalitan natin yung a sub n ng 60. Ito po yun. Ayan. Equals, ang a sub 1 po natin ay nawawala. Yun yung hinahanap. Plus, ang n po na gagamitin natin ay 5. Dahil nga ging 60 po, pang 5 yung 60. Minus 1 times d po ay 6. Okay? So, magiging 60 equals a sub 1 kasi yun yung hinahanap natin plus 5 minus 1 is 4 times 6. So, magiging 60 equals a sub 1 plus 4 times 6 ay 24. Ayan. So, combine like terms which is 60 and then from uh, using the properties of equality magiging minus 24 equals a sub 1. So, 60 minus 24 is 36. So, that is our a sub 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung unang term po natin dito ay 36. Ayan. So, ang a sub 1 natin ay 36. So, ganyan po kung paano kukunin ang a sub 1. 
So let us have another example. What is the common difference of an arithmetic sequence if a sub 1 is equal to negative 5, a sub 40 is equal to 151, and n is equal to 40? So ngayon, ang kukunin po natin is the common difference o yung d natin. Okay? Again, given the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So, ang a sub n natin yung magiging a sub 40 natin. So, that is equal to 151. Ayan, 151. Equals, ang a sub 1 po natin ay negative 5 plus ang n po natin since yung 151 ang kinuha natin na a sub n, ang n po natin ay 40, then minus 1 times ang common difference which is d. Okay? So, magiging 151 equals negative 5 plus 40 minus 1 is 39 times d. So, ililipat po natin by transposition method or properties of equality, magiging 151 plus 5 equals 39 times D is 39D. And then, 151 plus 5 is 156 equals 39D. So, ang hinahanap lang po natin ay yung common difference which is D. So, divide both side by 39. So, para maiwan lang po yung ating D. So, 156 divided by 39 is ang common difference po natin ay 4. Okay? So, kung ilalagay po natin lahat, kung mag start tayo kay negative 5, plus 4, that is negative 1, plus 4, and that is uh, positive 3, plus 4, 7. Yan yung magiging sequence po, ni po niya kapag kakukunin natin lahat ng uh, ng sequence or ng terms na ng terms ng ating sequence. Okay? So, magpatuloy po tayo. If a sub 25 is equal to 92 and the common difference is 7, let us find a sub 1. So, again, given the formula which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So, ang hinahanap ulit ay si a sub 1. So, gagamitin natin yung a sub 25. Siya po yung magiging a sub n natin. So, magiging 92 equals a sub 1 plus, since kinuha natin yung 92 which is a sub 25, so ang n natin ay 25 minus 1. Ta times natin sa d which is 7. So, magiging 92 equals a sub 1 plus 25 minus 1 is 24 times 7. So, i-multiply natin yung 24 uh, times 7. So, 7 times 4 is 28. Yan. So, 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16. So, that is 168. So, 92 is equal to 91 plus 168. So, pagsasamahin po natin yung dalawang term, yung 92, ah, yung dalawang uh, similar term, 92 at saka 168. So, magiging 92, applying the properties, magiging minus 168 is equal to a sub 1. So, magiging 168 minus 92. So, magiging so, 8 minus 2 is 6. 16 minus 9 is 7. So, since mas mataas yung negative, so that is negative 76 is equal to a sub 1. So, ang unang term ng sequence natin ay negative 76. Naway marami tayong natutunan ngayong araw na ito. Yan ang ating matasayang kwentuhan. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!